Hey guys, Super All Star here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to increase your fishing level and how to profit from fishing. This is going to be the overall guide for fishing, and it's going to be very exciting. So let's get straight into this video. All right, so basically for fishing, you're obviously going to need a fishing rod. So what kind of fishing rod should you be getting in Hypixel Skyblock? Well, there's actually a few types of fishing rods I recommend getting. There's the ice rod, which I have in this chest right here. Ice rod. It gives grants 25% chance of catching ice blocks. Not important. Increase fishing speed by 10%. Now, it's not that good, but it's okay for a beginner rod. I mean, there's actually a better rod out there, which is called a winter rod. Now, that ice rod's like catch from the frozen sea. I'm pretty sure I'm mistaken if I'm wrong. So that's catch from the frozen steve but if you want something else that it's like better than that you can use the winter rod and the winter rod is 40k from the jerry's workshop and it doesn't actually cost that much it's a pretty good rod in general now you have your rod now what kind of armor sets should you be using for fishing some armor sets you should be using for fishing are the angler armor set or the diver armor set now the angler sets literally 600 coins you can literally buy 24 raw fish from the bazaar and craft it when you have the recipe at fishing level 5? I mean, raw fish collection level 5. Let me check. It has some a raw fish level 5. And basically, it's 24 raw fish, like how you make any other armor set. That's pretty much how you craft it. And it's actually not that expensive to craft, so go ahead and craft yourself that armor set. Now, the next thing we want to be talking about, and jeez. Okay, wait. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is fishing XP boost. Fishing XP boost increases, uh, this fishing XP boost is 3, earn 20% more fishing experience. So I'm going to take that, use that. Next is Hunk of Ice. So if you want to reforge your rod to Salty, Treacherous, if you want to go to those kind of reforges, you're going to need packs of ice. Now there is, let me actually go back to my chest right here. Now there's actually two kinds of ice. There's Hunk of Ice and then there's Hunk of Blue Ice. Hunk of Blue Ice is more rare than a Hunk of Ice. so. Hunks of Ice will give you a salty reforge if you have 64 of these, if you reforge your rod at the Jerry's Workshop. Now I recommend using this on a good rod and don't waste it on like an ice rod. So there's Hunk of Ice and Hunk of Blue Ice. That's, Hunk of Blue Ice is rare, so I recommend using this on like, you know, like really good rods I'm going to be mentioning in this video. Now there's actually a bunch of rods you can get that are good for fishing. Now I just talked about the ice rod. But here I'm actually using a salty shredder. So you can not use like any of these good rods really. So the salty shredder, basically, I have like max salty shredder on this. Gives strength for every 50 bit use and plus damage for every 100 fish caught. My bonus strength is 7 and my bonus damage is 4. And the cap is 115, and 115 for the damage and the cap is 115 for the strength. Increase, increase fishing speed for 75% and remember that you need fishing 20 to use this shredder. And so there's actually a bunch of other rods you can use. There's also the Rod of Legends, which is like 15 million coins, I'm pretty sure. That's the best rod in the game, at least right now. I don't, currently, it's the best rod in the game. Unless there's a fishing update in the future, then, that'll be, then there'll be some better rod. But right now, Rod of Legends is the best rod in Hypixel Skyblock, the best fishing rod. And you can, there's also a Yeti Rod. You can either get a Yeti Rod or a Shredder. Now, I prefer a Shredder over a Yeti Rod, just because why not? And then I'm probably going to be getting a Rod of Legends very soon. So right now I'm going to, what else am I going to talk about? Okay, so we also have a bunch of minions. So Fishing Minion for Clay Minion. I'm going to take these out. So I have a Clay Minion right there. And it's tier 8 right now. And I have also tier 8 in my inventory. I have, so why are you probably thinking, why do you need minions right now? And basically what these minions are is to, level up your fishing xp you can either use a fishing minion or you use a clay minion now clay minion i'm pretty sure gives more fishing xp than a fishing minion so i'm going to be using a clay minion in my demonstration right now so let me just take out my squid pet so level 65 squid and actually actually wait this actually yeah, i'm going to talk about pets in a second but i'm going to get my dolphin pet out and i'm going to level up my dolphin pet hopefully this levels up a bit but let's see Okay, my dolphin leveled up from 13, and I'm pretty sure it was 5 before, so yeah. I'm not sure how much XP that gave me, I forgot to check, but it gave me some bit of fishing XP. So clay minions are good for fishing XP, so rec I recommend using clay minions for fishing XP. Now, once you start tryharding fishing, and literally like, first for a while, now, let's see right here. Okay, so you probably want to start fishing at... I think you want to start fishing at like, I don't know, fishing 
Not fishing 15. I say fishing 18 actually. I recommend like try harding fishing at 18. You can fish below that, you know, but I recommend just starting like try harding fishing at 18. Reason why is if you look at skills, if you look at fishing, if you look at fishing 18, it's the DC protector drops. If you go and do slash sea creature guide, there's actually different mobs you can get from fishing. So wait, let me just go over here and look at the sea creature guide. Sea creature guide. So level one, squid, level four, sea walker. There's actually a bunch of mobs you can get from fishing. I have no luck fishing 25 and about the Yeti, but I'll be getting that very soon, hopefully. And also there's the Sea Emperor, the Hotter, Water Hydra, there's a bunch of mobs in here for fishing. So at least if you get the Deep Sea Protector, then it's like actually you should try hard fishing because Deep Sea Protector, you know, I just recommend getting to fishing 18 in general. Okay, so once, okay, so that's the Sea Creature Guy part. And now I'm going to take all of this stuff. Okay, uh, let me take this. Okay, wait, so I'm gonna put this in here. Put that, put that, put that. Actually, I need that. Take this out. Um, I think that's all we need. Hunks of ice, so I don't need that. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about places to fish now. So let's head to the hub now. The hub, let's head to the Skyblock hub. Okay, we are in the Skyblock hub right now. So basically, what are some places you want to fish? Let me just go to like, Omega, um, let's go to Omega 3. Okay, we are in Omega 3. Oh my goodness, there is so many things in chat. What the heck? Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go to random hub instead. Okay, let's just go to random random hub. Okay, so if you go to random, ra ram, random hub. Um, okay, so right here, this is the first place to start fishing. So you can actually fish right here at the waterfall right here. I actually need to tell my anger set because you know it's a fishing video, you don't want to disappear right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna fish real quickly. Yeah like one mob have you seen what's gonna be bus bait, okay. Let's just catch one oh my what? That that was lucky. What the heck? I just got a deep sea instantly. Okay, yeah that's why I recommend fishing because the deep sea gave me three enchanted iron and some other good stuff and it gave me the raw fish. But it gave me some good stuff in general. That was literally, I didn't even expect to get that. But I guess with my dolphin, let me check the dolphin. Okay, actually wait, before I explain any more, I'm talking about different kinds of pets. So the legend, so I have the, like, the rare level 65 squid and I have a common 19, level 19 dolphin. And what the dolphin does, it gives you sea creature chance, once it level up a little bit more and it gives you intelligence. And the pod tactics ability is to Increase your fishing speed by 0.6% for each player within 10 blocks. So this is, I recommend using this in your players in general. So yeah. Okay, um, now that's the dolphin pet. So if you go into this, the squid pet, it gives you 32 intelligence, 32 health at fishing level of 60. I mean, uh, pet level 65. And more ink, gain 48.8% chance to drop double drops from squids and buff the ink wad. And I put fishing XP boosters on it. So I'm talking about different pet items also too. So if I go right here, actually I'm gonna go ahead to the, the pet area, where all the pet MC, NPCs are. We'll talk to Zog right here, and Zog has the, these XP boosts. So I recommend buying fishing XP boost, like from right here, but you can buy the uncommon fishing XP boost for like, I don't know, like a couple 10,000 coins too, and it's like 40% more fishing XP. I'll show this right here. I might actually add that to my common dolphin, but I might actually save that for a different one. So right here in this backpack, I have fishing XP boost. And the fishing XP boost gives 30%. Okay, it's 30%. So I already added that on my squid. So I'll be adding that when I get like a rare dolphin. And then I'll be adding that on my rare dolphin pretty much. What this basically does is gives 30% for your pet XP for fishing. So you get 30% more pet XP for just fishing. Like if you just fish regularly, you'll get fishing XP. And I'll convert into the pet and but like if you have the fishing XP boost on it either if it's a common or a uncommon or I'm pretty sure there's an epic or rare I'm not exactly sure on that but like yeah you could use these items to level up your pet faster if it's a dolphin or a squid you can also use a flying fish flying fish like buff diver armor and it's it's really good so yeah the, those are the things you do okay so this is the first spot for fishing now I'm going to be talking about the second spot for fishing. So we're going to go 
all the way over here. And there's a guy foraging here. Let me just go to here. Okay, so the next place you want to go is to the park. Let's head to the park right now. So it's currently nighttime right now. Actually, I'm going to explain that in a second. So I'm pretty sure you can catch like better mobs in nighttime than in daytime because there is. Let me go into sea creature guide actually. So there's a squid and then there is a night squid. Let me just check. All right, so there's a night squid right here. Okay, so got fishing XP boost, squid boots, more fishing XP. Oh yeah, wait, 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 Yeah, so there is a rare fishing XP boost. Yeah, I was like unsure of that. I caught a sea lantern. Now, what, actually one more thing before I actually continue fishing for just a bit. So if you go into skills, wait, no, is there the skills? Uh, yeah, and it's collection. Okay, if you go into collection, if you go into fishing, and if you go into raw fish, as you can see right here, there's a small fishing bag. There's like a fishing bag that upgrades over time. So you're probably like, what what fishing bag? So basically, if you have like fish, lily pads, clownfish, sponge, all that kind of stuff, you could put it in your fishing bag. If you go into the nether store, and if you go into the nether sack, sack fishing bag, you can put all of like, the fish stuff in here. There's also like the sack of sacks, which you can just put like if you have a fishing sack you can actually put your stuff in there for fishing and that's also really useful as well too and yeah okay so another thing i want to explain is how do you upgrade your fishing uh, bag so basically how to upgrade your fishing bag is you want to go to the your skills uh, your skills collection uh fishing collection raw fish so small fishing bag is at fishing three collect 100 raw fish and the next one is at medium is at 2.5k, which is fishing 7. Large is at 30k with fishing 9. And then fishing 10, 45k. Fishing, fishing 11, 60k for a massive, giant, large. Okay, so it's small, medium, large, giant, massive. And there might maybe add like newer, like larger uh fishing bag upgrades and yeah you might add that pretty much so this the park is another good place to fish and uh, yet again i'm just using my dolphin i don't know why i'm using my dolphin actually let's see that again hmm actually i'm gonna use my squid instead because i prefer to use my squid right now so let's just fish for a bit see what we get give me about a squid right here so if you kill the squid right here as you can see we get like some uh, drops right here so let's try to get maybe one more rare drop i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna get right here now there's like two more things that you have to explain before i get into anything else so enchants actually i forgot to explain about that there's different types of enchants you can get for your rods so there's lure magnet luck of the sea and then there's a let me just talk to you angler blessing caster frail looting luck of the sea lore magnet spiked hook and telekinesis as usual so yeah, there's a bunch of different enchants you can use for fishing. And uh, let me just cover these some of these. Lore gives you 30%. So shortens the maximum time it can it takes to catch something by 30%, and that's for the rare book. And then for magnet, grants six additional experience ores for every time you successfully catch a fish. And then there's magnet wait, I have two magnets. Luck of the sea increases the chance of fishing treasure by six percent. And then there's, okay, and then there's a bunch of other enchants you can use too as well. Now, there's actually more things I have to explain in this video about fishing too. So I'm just going to fish a bit. So now, we probably like, I just talked about flex baits, so I'm going to be talking about baits in a second. Let me just try to catch something else. I got another squid. Okay, then let's go to the hub right now. All right, so we at the hub right now. Uh, oh my gosh, we got into a mega. I don't want to get into a mega. Okay, let's go into a random hub. Hub selector, random. Okay, oh, well, that's fine. I'll just take this. Okay, um. Wait, I was going to talk about baits. Okay. So if you're going to baits right here, you're going to fishing. Oh, wait. Wait. Let me just actually sell a bit. Uh, bit of this fishing loot and yeah let me just sell that real quickly and uh 
Let's see, baits. Okay, there's a bunch of baits you can get for fishing. So let's go into this carrot bait, this minnow bait. Let me just explain this as we go. So carrot bait, what does carrot bait do? Carrot bait. Um, chance of fishing up a rabbit. So basically, if you go into your nether star right here, why does that keep turning into a quiver? Okay, if you go into the nether star, and if you go to scales, you go into fishing, and if you go to fishing, catfish, wait, where does it start? So blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 Carrot King. Um, so yeah, you catch, so this is the Carrot King, so you need Fishing 15 to actually use the Carrot Bait, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you don't. Do you, I think you need Fishing 15, I'm not exactly sure. So here we go. So what you want to do is, if you want to catch some, like, rabbits, and there's Carrot Bait. Next is Manal Bait. <clears throat> Manal Bait is 15% uh, faster catch time. So that's pretty good if I mean you can I get I, I recommend using the knob bait because it's really good for like fishing speed and all that kind of stuff. Next is fish bait, 30% catcher time. So this is basically like minnow bait times two. Mm, but it's more expensive. <clears throat> Next is light bait. A light bait is higher chance to cra uh, catch rare sea creatures during the daytime. I don't actually recommend using light bait because not many people use light bait, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not going to recommend light bait. Next is dark bait. This is also a, this is actually one of the popular ones, dark bait. What does dark bait do? Higher chance to catch rare sea creatures during night. So I recommend using this because there's actually better sea creatures at night time. <clears throat> Next is spooky bait. Scare off any sea creatures. Now I'm pretty sure if you catch a mob with this, they won't attack you. I'm pretty sure it's like that. Yeah, I think it's like that. So if you catch up a mob, it won't attack you at all. Or it just runs away from you, but it'll still attack you. Next is spiked bait. Increases sea creature spawn rate by 6%. So if you're looking to catch some more sea creatures, you want to combine this with the dolphin pet and you're pretty much set to like get some sea creatures, high chance of sea creatures. Or you can combine this with diver armor and flying fish and that would be pretty good. Next is blessed bait. Now, why didn't I sell this in the first place when this sells for a lot? I'm pretty sure nobody uses uh, blessed bait. 15% to get double drops from items. I don't think many people use, it's not really a popular choice to use blessed bait. <clears throat> Next is Ice Bait. So Ice Bait is 20% chance to catch winter sea creatures. So that's good for like Jerry's Workshop. So yeah, these are actually like, well, so 30 coins at the bazaar right now. But if you go to Jerry's Workshop, they're like 12 coins each, which is not barely anything. So the Jerry's Workshop opens anytime. I'll be showing that in a second. If it opens anytime, you can just go there and start fishing and ice fishing. You can make some profit, you know, if you have high fishing levels. Next is whale bait. Small chance to get double drops items, higher chance to catch rare sea creatures, and faster catching time. Okay, now that I've covered every single bait, let's look into these empire skulls. So I'm not sure if I explained the diver armor, but the diver armor requires 24 um, uh, empire uh, emperor skulls. And to get empire skulls are like from the... Uh, let me go to... Fishing. Let me actually go into Sea Creature Guide. Okay, Sea Creature Guide. So, let me just look. Okay, so let me just cover all these. For like, Sea Emperor, level 150. Okay, so basically you need Fishing 20 to catch this up, or have a chance of cap catching this up. The drops are at Lily Pad, Rawfish, Sponge, Enchanted Lily, lily Pad, Enchanted Prismine Crystals, Enchanted Prismine Shard, em Emperor Skull, you're guaranteed one Emperor Skull, and Fishing XP Boost, Flying fish or shredder. So these are not like the the rare ones and the epic and the legendary drops aren't guaranteed. So like small chance of getting those. But like just think you'll get an emperor skull guaranteed. So yeah, you'll get one emperor skull guaranteed. <clears throat> Let me talk about the <clears throat> different kinds of uh, fishing rods you can get. So squid. Let me go to a different place actually. Uh, there we go, I found a different scenario here. Okay, here we go, different place. <clears throat> Jeez, okay. Sea creature guide. Okay, so if you look right here, so level one squid, pretty much all you need is fishing one, so it's barely anything you can really just get this. This is literally just like unlocked automatically. So right here, next one right here is sea walker. 
<clears throat> what the seawalker does is gives you leap pad, raw fish, raw flesh, requires fishing too. Okay, not bad. Night squid, this is where this stuff gets more interesting, you know? So to get a night squid, you need <clears throat> the drops are ink sack, lily pad, fishing XP boost, squid boots. Mm, and fishing at rare fishing XP boost so you can get these kind of drops in our night squid so that's why i talked about fishing at night because you can get better drops and everything like that mm, and there's actually some requirements to fish this up so you need fishing for you and then you need and it has to be nighttime to catch this up and you need dark bait to catch this up so you, it doesn't have to be in just nighttime you'll see dark bait which i just explained before the next is frozen steve frozen steve it drops our ice Lily pad, puffer fish, raw fish, raw salmon, white gifts, and hunks of ice and ice rod. Yeah, I knew it. Right? Ice from those from Frozen Steve. I knew it. Good thing. Okay. To get this, you need fishing skill four, and you need to be at Jerry's workshop in the Jerry Pond. I'll explain that just in a minute, a few minutes. Next is the Sea Guardian. For the Sea Guardian, it's lily pad, raised marine crystals. Prism Marine Shards and Sea Lantern. Those are the drops for the Sea Guardian. Requirements is Fishing 5 to get the Sea Guardian. Frosty, okay. Frosty is drops Carrot, Ice, Lily Pad, Raw Fish, Snow Block, Sponge, White Gift, Hunk of Ice. That's a lot of stuff right there. And what those Hunks of Ice and uh, Hunks of Blue Ice is used to reforge your rods. So, recommend using Hunks of Ice on like a, you know, like a beginner rod, like not the expensive rod, and then you want to use the hunks of blue ice on like a shredder or like a rod of legends or a yeti rod. Next is a sea witch. Sea witch drops our clownfish, lily pad, raw salmon, fairy fedora, fairy gasolos, fairy polo, and fairy trousers. So yeah, fairy armor, it has a chance to drop fairy armor. I've never actually caught in a- oh wait, oh okay, so it needs to be daytime. Fishing level 7, wait, did I explain this? Fishing level 6 for the frosty. So fishing level seven, SB daytime, you need light bait to get this. Next is Sea Archer. For the Sea Archer, you need drops our bone, enchanted bone, lily pad, raw fish, and you need fishing level 20, 15, I mean. 15. Yep, yeah, 15. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Fishing nine. Okay, I'm smart. Hmm, and then next is Monster of the Deep. Monster of the Deep, you need Dark Bait, Enchanted, oh, it drops our Dark Bait. Enchanted Book, Magnet 6. Enchanted Rotten Flesh, Lily Pad Sponge, Enchanted Feather. You need Fishing Level, what is this, night? wait, wait, Fishing Level 11. Yeah, it's Fishing Level 11. Next is the Grinch. Okay, you can catch this from the Jerry's Workshop. Drops are... Drops are, wait, why does it say my drops? What? No, that's so weird. Okay, wait, anyway, to get Grinch, it's, you, to look for the drops are Grinch are get green gift, white gift, I'm pretty sure. And you need fishing level, what is that, fishing level 14? Fishing level 13? Yeah, that's fishing level 13. Okay, then. Fishing level 13, you need Jerry's workshop. Catfish. Catfish are, uh, drops are clownfish, enchanted book, pearl six, lily pad, Puffer fish, raw fish, raw salmon, and sponge. Fishing level 13 required also. Carrot king. For this, it's enchanted book caster. Uh, for the drops for this, are Enchanted book caster 6. Lily pad, sponge, enchanted carrot, rabbit hat, enchanted rabbit foot, lucky clover core. So the lucky clover is actually worth a lot, I heard, on the auction house. I'm pretty sure it's worth a lot. And it's epic, so. Now, we had again, some of these drops that aren't guaranteed, but like, on, like the uncommons. And the common to like guarantee drops pretty much. And for this, you need fishing 15 and carrot bait. For sea leech, you need drops are clownfish, spiked hook 6 book, lily pad, raw fish, fine, fishing as boobish, rare, fishing as boobish, epic. I knew there was an epic variant. Okay. And you need fishing level 16. Next is the guardian defender. Well, the guardian defender is epic. And you need drops R. The drops are for this Guardian Defender R, Lower Six, Lily Pad, Raw Fish, Sponge, Enchanted Prismarine Crystals, and Enchanted Prismarine Shard. Next is the Deep Sea Protector, which I just got a few minutes ago. Drops are Clownfish, Enchanted Book, Angler Six, Lily Pad, Sponge, Enchanted Iron, and Fishing XP Boost. Uh, the requirements for there is this is Fishing Level 17. 18. I'm smart. 
Next is the water hydro. So if you ever seen everyone with anyone with like those hydra heads on their heads, so like hydra heads or like stuff like that. I mean, there's a bunch of people in the hub walking around with the hydra heads. So like, yeah, that's that's the reason why they're wearing hydra heads is because of this. Let me go see creature guide again. So right here, water hydra. You need fishing level only. Wait, 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 don't tell me, wait, wait, fishing 22, no, wait, fishing, what is that, fishing 20, what, X-I-X, -X. wait, your skills, fishing, X-I-X, -X. okay, wait, 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 I'm smart, okay, wait, what is this, 19, 19, I'm so smart, Oh, my brain is so big. Okay, so to get water hydra, you need fishing level 19. Okay, good thing I am big brain. Next is the Sea Emperor, which I just said you can get. I, I just explained these, but the drops are lily pad, raw fish, sponge, enchanted lily pad, shadow prismine crystals, enchanted prismine shard, and it has empire skull drop and fishing XP boost drop. Epic variant. These are not guaranteed, like I said before. The last one is Yeti. Now the requirement. Oh wait, no. Wait, wait. Secret guide. So the requirements are fishing twenty for the sea emperor for this. This I haven't actually unlocked, but I'm working to unlock. This is the yeti. The yeti for the yeti, you need fishing level twenty five, and you have to be Jerry Pond. It has to be Jerry Workshop. So the drops for the yeti are yeti rod, baby yeti pet epic or legendary, and a bunch of other stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure red gift. And yeah, like some and etc. drops. And geez, this has been a long video, but it's a fishing guide, so I'm pretty sure it has to be that long. I have to explain every single detail, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much the drop, like different kind of fishing mods. So what else do they explain now? Now on screen, I'm gonna put well, how many draw, how many like mods you need to fish up for the dolphin pet. So mine is common right now. I'm pretty sure I fish up. 250 so 250 uh, fish up right there to get the common dolphin it will just spawn behind you so make sure to pick it up when it'll say in chat okay now i'm gonna quit put a quick clip right here on screen right now i'm currently at, i was currently at the jerry's workshop i have like a few minutes of time so i went to the frosty and then i bought what's it called ice bait from frosty and yeah then I started to fish, and then I started, yeah, I started to fish at the Jerry's Pond, so I fished up, like, a few things right now, I'm just explaining what I did before, and yeah, that's what I was doing pretty much at the Jerry's Workshop, so if Jerry's Workshop ever opens, I recommend going there, so you can make some actual profit there, and get some fishing XP, so, that's gonna be it for today's video, jeez, this was a long video, and we're almost 30 minutes, so let's quickly end this off, but anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Like and subscribe if this helped you. If this helped you a lot. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace out.